got stuff all over the floor. Where? Oop, in here. There was? From yeah. what? All your envelopes. All your envelopes. How'd were, they get on the floor? The boxes were on the floor. I yeah. don't know. Your two little envelopes from your giveaway or and your pin cushion and the pen. They were on the floor? Yeah, that I was on if, the floor. I wonder floor. if um either Kyle, I think, might have been in he here. He might have been bouncing time. with his ball. He had it against the wall. Could have been. And he was not supposed and to do that. And then your magnetic things was over here. And oh. This chair was out in the metal. And Whoa, they, they really had were messing all it up. up. Yep. Can you tell we had the kids today? <laughs> I think that camera's a little bit that way, a little bit. That's good. Thank you. Yeah, we had the kids today. And they, yeah. they were having a ball, apparently. Yeah, Apparently. Paige was in here to do her Zoom class because, oh, hello. <laughs> I guess we should start. Oops, <laughs> oops, oops. Okay. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I almost forgot <laughs> we were having a conversation, and I forgot to tell you who I am and where I'm from. But um, what was I going to say now? See? Oh, talking about the, the kids. kids. Yeah, the kids. Kyle and Paige and... First day, their first day. Oh was yeah, remote they learning. had their remote learning today. Well, Paige had a Zoom class that she wanted to watch, or had to participate in, and um, Asher was making too much noise in the big room. She had her music playing loud, and so Paige asked if she could come in here, and so I let her come in here, and she was sitting very nice. And then later on, when Jim got home, Kyle was bouncing the ball, but he was, I guess, bouncing it against the wall. And he must have come in here and done some crazies because Paige usually leaves things alone. She doesn't, she doesn't mess things up. She's pretty good about it. But he can get a little wild and in his commotion. Or when they were playing tag, when when Asher was trying to catch Paige, well, maybe Paige maybe came that in was here. Son too. I don't know. And Paige came behind me for protection, and I told Asher, "Don't you dare make me get up." Because I, did, I was crocheting at the time, and it's like, don't mess around. So that was what went on today. Today was a busy day. I also went to the dentist early this morning. I had an 8 o'clock appointment to have my tooth extracted. I did. I had, there was no pain in this tooth. The tooth is the one that they put the crown on, and bef it was a broken tooth and they were they he wanted to put a crown on it he, a long time ago right after it broke and I kept holding off holding off because I planned to have just have that tooth pulled well then I had the the, the tooth that had the cavity that was way below the gum line and it would have been very invasive to, to try to fix that so the dentist in Jamestown suggested that I have it pulled he says, you could have it pulled, because he said it was going to be too invasive. So I said, well, could you let my dentist know that it can be pulled? So he did. He let my dentist know that it could be pulled, and so they pulled that tooth. And because they pulled the tooth on the right-hand side, I decided, well, maybe I better try to keep that broken tooth on the left-hand side of my bottom teeth. So I had them put a, a crown on it. Well, the crown never, ever felt right. Then right around March... When all this crazies with the blue booger came along, that was when my tooth finally, I was able to chew on it. So now it had been just about, it would have been a year in, I think, May. Mm -hmm. It would have been a year that I finally was able, in, in March, I finally was able to chew on it. But my gum bulged out on the side, so I knew there was still something wrong with it. Well, then they call me to tell me that... My appointment was going to be delayed. Instead of me going in June, they wanted to ch change it to, today is what, September? No, yeah. August. Today's the September. end of August, they changed it to. So I went and I said, well, my, my tooth, the gum had been bulging out, but now the, bu the bulge was gone again. So now I didn't know what was going on. But when I mentioned that, to the hygienist when I went to get my teeth cleaned at the end of August she said we better take an x-ray because the if it was bulging out and making a pustule and now it's not maybe it's going down the tooth and the and it's draining someplace else instead of on the outside 
So when she took the x-ray, she saw that the tooth was making a drainage down below the root. So that meant I would either have to have a root canal, no way, mm -hmm. or finally have that tooth pulled, which I should have done a long time ago. So after the crown, which was after the crown, which was 800, 800 and something it was to have the crown put on, today I paid a little over a hundred to have the tooth pulled. <laughs> so that tooth in the end has probably cost me because they had to put a temporary crown on that before the actual crown was on and that was probably another hundred. So that tooth probably ended up costing about a thousand dollars. Unbelievable amount when I, I should have had it pulled right from the start. But you know, you try to save the tooth and you end up losing the tooth anyways. So that's why I didn't want to have a root canal because when the dentist we used to go to, Dr. Habig, he was actually the professor at University of Buffalo for the at the dental school and he would he would teach the the um dental students. <laughs> no um, wait a minute the Interns? No, then no. what I was going to have done. <laughs> Look at that, oh, I lost the, the word. Canals? The root canal. I lost the word. I couldn't remember what it was called for a second there. You noticed? Yeah, you noticed. <laughs> Darn, you noticed. <laughs> but anyways, he used to teach uh, the students how to do the root canals. And he said that usually at the end, the root canal probably works for about, like three or four or five years. And then they end up losing the tooth anyways. So... You spend all that money on a root canal and then lose the tooth just the same. I decided, let's skip the root canal and let's just get rid of the tooth. So today the tooth was extracted. And they, my teeth come out very easy, very easy. The hardest part of this whole extraction is when they give you the shot. That's the, the two shots, yes. <laughs> he just raised his <laughs> fingers, too. Yes, they gave me two shots. They, they put a little gel in there to numb, they say, but, you know. It maybe numbs just the surface, but once they start that needle in, you you can feel it, and then they go. It feels like they're going deeper and deeper, and then they then they have to do another shot. And in the meantime, your tongue is getting numb, your bottom lip is getting numb, your up here on your in your um, cavities of your sinuses are starting to get numb. Everything's getting numb, and you're hoping that it's numb. <laughs> <laughs> because when he comes to pull it, he will push the gum down around it. And, he's, and if you have any pain, then of course he has to stop and give you another shot. But thankfully mine was numb. And so then they pull the tooth out. And so I have no tooth. <laughs> I have one less mm -hmm. tooth. But this one is right next to the wisdom tooth. So, And a lot of times they pull the wisdom teeth to make room for the other teeth. Well, now I have room for that wisdom tooth. If it wishes to drift, it can drift. But I don't know if it will because there was room for it before. That's the story about the tooth and that's the story about the kids. Now <laughs> I'm going to put a little video in and you're going to hear the story about the rooster. <laughs> Dorothy's up there. He must have called everybody over because they're all standing here. And he's going to look up and down, up and down, up and down. And that one kisses him. She does that every day. It's like, give me space, girls. I need to jump. Looking, but they all crowd around. I need to move again so I can get a little leg room. Need a little leg room, little wing room. Come on, girls, just give me some space. Hold on, and here I go. Here I go. Nope, decide not to. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll just go see what's going on inside there for a minute. Oh, they're gonna go. They thought I was going to. I'm not going. I think I'm going to jump up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, those girls. Darn girls, you're following me everywhere I go. Oh, uh, yes, kiss again. Kiss, kiss. 
Okay. Kiss again. She kisses him all the time. Or does something. I don't know what she's doing, but he says, Oh no, I'm gonna have some fun. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, and there's his sidekick in front. Oh, and Black one is kissing again. Kiss, kiss. Kiss some more. Now wait, lady. I gotta do some jumping. Stop kissing me. Oh, kiss, kiss, kiss again. Ah, kissy. Please. Do you want that snack or not? She's not gonna bring it unless I go up on that railing and crow. Just give me a moment, please, by myself. And here I go, here I go, here I go. Stay away, girl, stay away, stay away, stay away. Oops, you're kissing me some more. Would you stop it? Oh, just please, let me be. Oh, now follow me this way, you follow me that way. Keep following me. Okay, okay, okay. Now I can, I got freedom, I got room, I got room. Let me see what I can do. Yes! And up I go. <laughs> and yes, I can crawl. Do another crawl. <laughs> see, he's gonna go back down. All right, and down he goes. Have you ever sat outside watching the animals and you have a little conversation like what they might be saying by their body language. Well, that's exactly what I was doing. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a... Um, commentary. Com yes, I guess that's what it would be <laughs> called, commentary, where I was saying what the, I thought maybe the rooster was saying. And that one black hen, I don't know if you can see it, but she kept kissing him. She does that every single day, and every day that they want their snack, he has to do that. Otherwise, they don't get the snack. And there's been a couple days that they didn't get the snack, and then there's a couple days that he's gotten snack for them twice in a, instead of once. And yesterday, he crowed three times up there, so three times they got the snack. I'm hoping that he doesn't get the idea that the more times I crow, the more snack I get, but I gave him less and less each time so that this way... If he does crow too many times, they're still getting the same amount of chicken scratch. Whether it's once, twice, or three times, it's the same amount. So that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed this this talk. And I will see you all tomorrow. So bye-bye.